good morning students and welcome to my online class today's subject is evs1 and the topic is infectious disease and how they are spread i am bhairavi desai from new mahim english medium municipal school my our administrative officer is mrs snehalata dumre madam our nodal pit officer is mr sharat kurade our nodal head mistress is mrs pushpam mary paul and assistant nodal head mistress is mrs manpriti kaur so let's begin students our session with thought of the day please any students read it natural forces within within us us are the, us are the true healers or healers healers of disease okay very good thank you for reading so thought of the day is natural forces within us are the true healers of disease it means those forces which are internal mental or physical which is called as our immunity nowadays you must be hearing this word immunity hmm? which help us to fight against any disease okay now students all of you please observe the picture and tell me what can you see in the picture the man head is paining yes this man is having headache headache means pain in the head he is suffering from headache okay this was the first picture now what can you see in the picture the girl is crying and vomiting very good the girl is crying and vomiting why she must she must be vomiting can you think because her stomach is paining yes see she has put her hand on her stomach that is her stomach is aching or her stomach is there is pain in the stomach and she is vomiting okay what can you see in this picture now the child hmm the child I is sweater for the cold yes and she is i think she he was crying yes very good what is and he having in his mouth he had fever in the mouth yes. he put yes. a temperature temperature measure to measure temperature he has put thermometer in his yes. mouth so Thermometer. he must be having fever and he is feeling cold that's why he has put on the shawl or sweater whatever you can say okay and he is crying now what can you see in the picture now the boy is going to toilet and her stomach ah. is paining very good he is suffering from loose motion and his stomach is aching her stomach is paining there is pain in his stomach so he is also crying okay now what about this man what is he doing the man was the yes. man got it's called coughing yes okay. teacher, the, the man But, got coughing and yes coughing yes he is coughing matlab he is having some throat problem or may be suffering from cold okay so he is coughing what about this man now the 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 man stomach is aching okay he is having pain in the stomach is he is having suffering from stomach ache okay so these are all we can see this problems in our day to day life sometimes they heal but naturally sometimes we you know a home remedies also works on it and they can be cured and if it is more serious you need to consult your doctor now see uh, can you tell me 
that one if your friend fall while playing and get hurt does anyone tell you don't go near to him you will also get hurt no okay, if he, yes very good child if you all are playing a game okay and your friend is he fall so does anyone tell you that you don't go near to him you will also get hurt no. nobody tells you why is it like that if your friend has fallen down you will also fall down no no it will not it will not happen that way okay one more uh, uh, incident let's see that suppose your mother has a headache means your mother is having pain in her head so do you get headache if you go near to her no no why no tell me why because like fever typhoid if the person got a uh, fever then we not go to them when the okay. people got hurt or her stomach uh, her head is there so we should help them like we should okay. anyone have the head is we should uh, we should bam what we should go near to them and we should help them yes. for their healing okay it is yes. why because these are not infectious disease if anybody yes. got uh, hurt or anybody is having headache if you go near to them it is not like that even you will also get the same pain okay and one more incidents that when it is that that you are told not to go near a sick person if a person is sick not to use their utensils for eating or drinking not to use their hankies hankies means handkerchiefs towels or clothes when so there are five incidents first if a person is ill with flu okay we can call it viral fever if a person is having viral fever or flu if you go near to them if it, it uh, there are chances that even you will suffer from flu second one is continuous cold and cough continuous cold and cough means if you go near to them even you get infected and you will have the same cold and flu in your body then third one is ringworm it is a skin disease if anybody is suffering from ringworm then if you touch it that area that even your body part will also affected and may be possible that you will also suffering from the same disease even scabies and chicken pox chicken pox is very common among small children understood and yes. such disease are called infectious disease means it spreads through infections if you go if a person is suffering from such disease and if a healthy person goes near to them that healthy person will also suffer from the same disease so this disease are called infectious disease now we'll see what causes this this can anyone read for me yes teacher how it happens that okay beta read please they are caused by micro micro organisms Mi micro organisms every effective disease is caused by the previous micro organism or germ when the germs of a particular disease enter the body and begin to grow the person get disease very good and thank you child for reading me reading for me now we'll see how it happens as i said ki when a healthy person goes to a near to sick person and that healthy person also get the same disease how it happens so first thing it is caused by microorganisms now just pay attention what are microorganisms micro means very tiny very small you cannot see through your naked eye okay organisms means living things 
they are so small that it can be seen under compound microscopes only understood we cannot see through our naked eye so they are the responsible for spreading of such infectious disease so every infectious disease is caused by a specific microorganism or in day, in day to day life we can call them germs nowadays corona also spread na it is spread through virus so you are in a, you are advised to wash your hands keep safe distance if you go near to a corona affected patient even you will also affected understood so when the germs of a particular disease enter the body and begin to grow so they will grow in your body and that will cause the same disease now see what are germs and microorganism these are different types and different shapes of germs they are around us some are harmful and some are harmless understood now how is one person's disease pass on the another person that we will see there are many mediums how it gets spread so when a person has a cold the germs from his body spread in the air when he coughs or sneezes so whatever germs is there present in his body it will come out from his sneeze or coughing when these germs enter the other person's body they can also get the disease and when you contact when you come in contact with such person you will also get the same disease that is the disease spread in this way this disease spread for example who will read the examples of such disease malaria typhoid teacher what is this cholera cholera and jaundice jaundice, yes. jaundice and corona corona very good thank you dear so these are some example of such disease which are spread through air okay now how in how many ways this infectious disease are spread that we will see what are the different ways in which infectious disease spread there are total five ways please anyone read for me spread for diseases through air mm -hmm. second spread of diseases through water third spread of diseases through food Very and good. fourth is spread of diseases by insect fifth spread of diseases by direct contact direct contact very good now there are five ways how a particular disease spreads first is it spreads through air remember these points okay second it spreads through water third it spreads through food whatever we eat fourth it spreads by insects and fifth one this is spread by direct contact direct contact means if you go near to that sick person and if you if you are in contact if you do shake hands or if you hug then that is called as direct contact in this way the uh, disease spreads now we'll see which disease are spread through air water food in detail okay first we'll see spread of disease through air now what can you see in the picture beta do not cough or spit in the open okay now see here there is a picture of one man and a girl one picture? man is yes the boy is a coughing yes that yes. the, the boy is spitting as we spitting yes spitting and the girl is coughing very good very good. here they are uh, speak, spitting and coughing in open okay and that man is spitting in open okay you that should not be happened so in uh, now we'll see how it spreads if that man is in fact is suffering from any infectious disease which spreads through air then whoever comes in his contact 
or they will also suffer from the same disease that's why you should not cough or you should not spit in open area now we'll see this how this spread of disease through air happens the germs which are called as microorganisms they are present in the spit or saliva of the person who has the disease when he coughs spits or sneezes they enter the air with tiny droplets of saliva or spit when other person breathe in the same air the germs enter their body and this disease of the throat and chest spread through the air all disease of throat and chest they spread through the air for example tuberculosis which are commonly known as tb swine flu etc and common example is cough and cold okay now second we'll see spread of disease through water some disease are there they are spread through water if you drink contaminated water then this germ enter in your body and they will cause the disease now can anyone say what can you see in the picture the the women are washing their clothes and the and the man ha man was washing their clothes and okay. the the girl is doing washroom okay. uh, washroom under the tree okay and the man is filling his uh, pot filling the water to the lake oh okay. very good see we can see that one one man is cleaning his buffalo some women are washing their clothes one boy is passing urine under the tree and at the same time one fellow is see jumping in the uh, lake or river for bathing and at the same time one man is filling his pot for drinking water okay so uh, isn't it unhygienic wherever you are doing all washing and cleaning and the same water if this man will and his family will drink what will happen to them so it is they our will, response they will be really sick okay very good so it is our responsibility to prevent the pollution of public sources of water we should not contaminate this water because many uh, uh, passer by passers will drink this so it is our responsibility we should not contaminate the water so now we'll see spread of disease through water the germs of disease of the intestines like typhoid cholera diarrhea as also of jaundice are present in the faces of the affected person and if the face is gets mixed with water the germs in it also enter the water and if we drink this contaminated water the germs will enter in our body and that will cause the disease if another person drinks water which has been contaminated by these germs they enter his intestine too and that person can get the disease so this is of intestine all intestinal diseases are spread through water and examples as i said typhoid cholera diarrhea and jaundice in all these diseases we get stomach ache vomiting loose motions everything happens these are the symptoms of this diseases this happens and it and it affects your health okay now the third one we'll see spread of disease through food okay children now tell me what can you see in this picture uh there is the this is a shop yes shop of the sweet sweet and farsan very good yeah. sweet and farsan and the 
girl is working on the shop and the man the man is giving tea to yes. the to the person customer ha okay very good and the shop is dirty dirty very good what else can you see and there are two three men are waiting for the tea okay very good and food is covered or uncovered uh, food is uncovered very good see i can see some rats also mouse running yes. in the yes running in the shop okay Teacher, as you say sweets and the mouse is eating the sweet yes very good good observation beta so the see food is uncovered as you said the shop is dirty and some mice are running here and there okay and the fellow the one who is serving the tea he himself is very dirty yes you see that he himself is very dirty he is serving the tea and the girl is looking at him for her turn to get tea or milk or something like that okay and many customers are waiting so when you also go out to have food outside food you also should see the cleanliness how the food are preserved here all food is uncovered okay now second picture what can you see in this picture all the men are eating the foods out outside and we as we called open ground yes and there is the buffalo and so yes. that is it was yes yes dog is also are yes. uh, moving around buffaloes yes. are there cattle yes. are there and the yes. feast feast yes. means party party is on an open ground and see even the food is covered or uncovered uh uncovered uncovered so flies also can come and sit on the food right yes. and one man is serving and all are having their food in on an open ground okay so we should not eat such type of food because it is spread of disease through food now food. we'll see okay now we'll see when flies sit on the faces of a person who has an intestinal disease the germs of the disease stick to their legs for example diarrhea or gastro when the same flies sit on our food the germs enter our body and we can get the same disease that's why it is important to always keep our food covered wash your hands before eating it is the, it is two only examples advice are there you should keep always your food covered even at home if your mother is cooking very nicely but if the food is uncovered so if fly comes from outside and sits on the food then the food will become contaminated if you are playing outside and after playing if you eat food and if you are not washing your hands because your hands are unclean you will suffer from the disease that's why you should you should always eat covered food and wash your hands before eating okay now next is the spread of disease by insects now tell me what can you see in the picture uh this is a mosquito very good and, and mosquito, mosquito is on the body yes of a human being ha huh, of and, the human beings and she was and it is trying to bite it right yes, it is trying, trying to bite it and trying to suck the blood from the human body okay yes yes so this is the na this is the how the spread of disease by insects that we'll see that how it happens when certain kinds of mosquitoes and fleas 
fight someone who has malaria the malaria germs in that person's blood enter the mosquito's body with the blood it sucks so that germs get sucked in the blood okay and if this mosquito bites another person who is healthy okay and the malaria germs enter that person's body too and he too can get malaria okay that's why we must stop such insects from breeding so how to how to stop such insect insects from breeding that we should keep our surrounding clean okay that in that way they are don't allow this insects in the house like mosquito and this malaria this is is caused by anopheles female mosquito if that anopheles female mosquito bites human being then malaria is <coughs> then we call, uh, then we suffer from malaria disease now next is spread of disease by direct contact see this is called direct contact that two person is shaking their hands and as i told earlier we all are covered by microorganisms some are harmful and some are harmless so if you do shake hand or if you hug somebody then there is exchange of microorganisms and if that person is sick or if he is suffering from any skin disease then he will pass that microorganism to the healthy person and these microorganisms are not visible by our naked eyes okay ringworm scabies are disease that affects the skin their germs are found on the skin if someone else comes in contact with the skin of a person having this disease or wear his clothes then they per that person can get that skin disease too that is why it is better to avoid sharing clothes we should not wear anybody's clothes okay we don't know whether he is suffering from any skin disease or not we should wear your own clothes sometimes it happens that Uh, if function is there and we are fond of our friends clothes so we borrow that dress please give me your dress for one day only and we wear it but we don't know if he or she is suffering from any skin disease so if he or she is suffering from any skin disease even we'll get the same disease now who will read this for me germs of diseases like the flu or teacher what is this Con conjunctivitis conjunctivitis uh, it is a uh, disease caused in our eyes our eyes become red and if we see it in that person size even we will get the same disease in our eyes so what we do in the school when the normal schooling is on if any person is if any students is having conjunctivitis i either we uh, tell that student to sit alone or we call the parent and we send that child to home or if or we have to wear the goggles also so that it doesn't spread to other healthy person okay it is called conjunctivitis okay beta continue yes teacher hmm. conjunctivitis spread through the air through the air so many people can so many people can get such diseases all at one time when many people in one area get some same infection diseases all the same time we can say that there is an epidemic, epidemic. Of, ep epo epidemic of the disease for disease for example cholera cholera malaria conjunct conjunctivitis flu very good wait Sepa. wait wait say pronounce it properly conjunctivitis conjun conjunctivitis whitis 
that together conjunctive itis conjunctive itis very good one more example is there flu flu okay etc so what is an epidemic of a disease that if at many people in it one area eyes yes it is the disease of an eyes as i said now when many people in one area get some infectious disease at at all at the same time means to spread this type of disease only one sick person is required and he or she can spread such disease to many people at the same time can you give me one more example one epidemic is going on nowadays also corona very good corona if one person is affected by corona then he can spread this disease to many people those who comes in his contact okay so that is called epidemic and that's why it this online classes are on and your schools are closed okay so we are wishing to come out of it fast so there are many precautionary actions now we'll see how to prevent infectious disease there are many ways to prevent this infectious disease as you said beta that nowadays corona is going on okay yes. so there are only three steps okay. that we can be saved from corona first step is we should wear mask second is can anybody tell me uh, for second thanks very good thanks yes. and, and third one and social distancing social distancing very good the... okay very good these three steps are there to prevent corona because it is also an infectious disease now how to get your how to prevent infectious disease from other this what we saw malaria jaundice diarrhea gastro so these are some steps to prevent infectious disease let's see take care of water food and air it should not be contaminated second advise people to boil water before drinking it if you boil the water the germs in the contaminated water will kill and then the germs will not harm you prevent mosquitoes from breeding we must ensure there is no stagnant water in the surrounding stagnant water matlab water is what uh, water is present in the surrounding okay huh? it is not flowing water it is somewhere it is stagnant if it is stagnant water is in surrounding then there will be breeding of mosquitoes there will be increase in numbers of mosquitoes and that will cause malaria in the whole area quarantine the people who have serious infection disease like swine flu tuberculosis tuberculosis means tb quarantine means they should be kept alone in the different room and nobody should in that in their contact cover the mouth while sneezing or coughing this should be your regular habit that while sneezing or coughing you should always cover the mouth and last one is vaccination vaccination is the best way to develop resistance power it will improve your resistance power so even even if germs has entered in your body your rbc will fight against that germs and you will not suffer from the that disease that's why your immunity your internal power should be strong okay now students we'll see you have to i hope you all have understood there are five ways of spread of disease first one was can anybody tell me first one was aditi can i tell yes say beta uh for teacher do 
right first one was true uh, first one is is it what your question are you asking i am asking how different infectious diseases are spread so this diseases are spread through diseases by insect yes spread of diseases by direct contact very good and epidemic of diseases uh epidemic of disease means what if a sick person Cause if a sick person comes in contact with many people at the same time, that is called epidemic. We are just learning here that how this spread spread of disease. It is through air. Yes, very good. Spread of disease is through food. Spread of disease through water. Okay, good, good. Okay, I am revising. See, spread of disease through air. Then comes water. Then comes food then by insects and last one by direct contact now here you have to classify the following disease okay that first one is malaria so you have to tell me how it is going to spread okay can can anybody tell me how malaria spreads students Can anyone tell me how malaria spreads? Who can answer? I told you, na? Malaria spread from mosquito. Very good. It is spread by insects. Now read the second. This is. What is it? Teacher, anyone mic is on that side. So cannot hear your voice. Okay. Okay. Huh. Now read the second disease. It is typhoid. How typhoid is spread? Try. I will help you out. Try. How typhoid is spread? From fruit. Typhoid is spread through water. Water. Or water. Yes, water. Now read the third one. What? Read the third disease. It is cholera. Cholera spread from person to person. Hmm. Beta, it is spread through water. If you drink contaminated water, then you will suffer from cholera. Okay. So cholera is spread through water. Now read the next one. Teacher, what you are asking, I cannot hear your voice. See, what am I saying here? I have written eight diseases. Okay, name of the disease. You have to tell me how these diseases are spread. Like first one was, uh, someone gave me the answer that malaria spread by insects. Then comes typhoid. Typhoid spreads through water. Then comes cholera. Cholera spreads through water. Now read the fourth disease. What is it? Try. I will help you out. It is tuberculosis. And how it is spread? Tuberculosis is spread by air. Spread through air. And fifth one is jaundice. Jaundice also spread through water. Then comes gastro. Can anyone tell me how gastro spreads? Teacher, I cannot hear your voice. Gastro is spread through food. Then it is diarrhea. Diarrhea is also spread through food. And last one is diphtheria. Diphtheria is spread through air. Okay. Now this is homework for you all. Can anyone read this homework? Right, true or false? Very good. 
teacher what is this intestinal disease teacher what is this intestinal disease intestinal disease spread through air through okay. air wait 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 ha huh. now tell me the answer is it true or false false false, false. very good intestinal disease are spread through water now next one b some diseases are caused by the by the anger of the goods false. false false very good next one vaccinations is vaccination not, vaccination vaccination is not good method of pre uh, preventing diseases false false very good next one microorganism that causes diseases are called germs true very good we, we should drink boiled water to avoid infections true very good you are very good children thank you for co your cooperation now take screenshot of the homework and you have to write this homework in your science notebook okay stay home stay safe so that you will be prevented from corona disease thank you all of you for joining my online class bye 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 teacher